Welcome back guys. So today was turnover day. We had breakfast and then we had to wait in a lounge with all the people who were staying on the ship while everyone else got off. And then we got off the ship, went through customs and immediately got back on. And then it was time to check out our room. So I didn't think we were gonna be vlogging that much today just cause it's kind of like another boarding day. Like you guys just saw this. We didn't want to get too repetitive, but we're up here on deck 11. Yeah. This room is new. Yeah, this is really nice. Not that our old room was bad, but this is really nice. Like we have the, the newer walls. There's the lighter wood cabinets over you know here and closets. It's the same as Symphony. It is. So it's the same as the brand new ship. This is, I, I didn't know that they had done some rooms like this, but this is nice. I mean, nice little painting on the wall. And then I also didn't know that apparently these upper decks have bigger balconies. If we can figure this thing out. This is a significantly wider balcony and we have like a railing and stuff. I don't know, much better view, way higher up. I feel like you can see more all the way around. Am I crazy? Yeah, no, absolutely. I don't even know what's below us. Or Oh, the bridge is right there. We can see we the bridge. No, we are not on the hump, I don't think. Oh, we are on a hump, that's why. Oh You're right, God. okay. We've, we've been on the hump before. I thought it had something to do with the deck level, but it's just because we're on the hump. So anyway, good stuff. We're gonna unpack everything, hang out, and we'll see you guys tomorrow in Nassau. Well, um, this is not Nassau. No. What, what happened, girl? We're on a different island. I'm assuming we had an itinerary change, but technically we weren't signed up for the cruise, so we didn't get an email. I don't know. <laughs> so obviously, I mean, we, we knew the itinerary like a couple weeks ago. It must have changed, and uh, I, we just showed up in a, a spot that we didn't know we were going to, but we're still going to have a ton of fun today. We're very, very excited. Uh, it's just, it's exciting to be back here. Obviously, you guys saw the first vlog. It was so crazy, so hectic, so much to do. Now, I feel like we know the island a little bit better. We kind of know what we want to do. A We've got an, an interesting theme for today's video. What are we going to be doing? Um, so we're going to do, like, it's going to be an Instagram goals challenge. So we have props and outfits, and our challenge today is to get five perfect Instagrams each. So couples or separate. So yeah, we're going to be hanging out. We've got some fun excursions planned. We're going to be going up in the up, up and away balloon as long as the wind holds out. So we'll see what happens. We're actually going to be doing that in like 45 minutes. And then we've got jet skis and a couple other things. And we're just going to try to go around the island, get as many cool pictures as we can. And we'll share the best five. With I would you. also like to mention that I just noticed there's a whole part that we never saw last Oh time. yeah, the chill island over here. We made it to the pool, but we never made it over to like the cabanas and stuff over there. So there's still more to explore. Yeah. This island is crazy. <laughs> We're gonna take you guys along. Let's get it. But first, the most important part of the day is the Windjammer Buffet. So the breakfast is as much or as little as you make it. Honestly, we're usually in here a little bit late. We try to yeah. maximize sleep and then just grab anything we can. So we got some bacon, some hash browns. Looks like we got pretty much the same. Same thing. thing. I got some fruit though, and some sausage. <laughs> Babe, I just want you to know, we are getting judged so hard for having a suitcase right now. Let them. Like. <laughs> you can judge me on Instagram. People are gonna think we're like trying to stay on the island or something, I don't know. Girl, we are spoiled. I know. Coming back here for the second time in three days. What am I supposed to do next week when I don't just get to go to a private island? For real, well, <laughs> I think we're just gonna have to keep coming back. Sorry, Royal, just keep giving us rooms. Like, we'll make some videos and just enjoy it. But uh, anyway, uh, I think we're gonna be starting with the balloon. We have a time for it in like 20 minutes. Yeah. Apparently the wind is much lower in the morning and in the evenings. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we're gonna be able to get up there. Uh, I think they've, you know, it's, it's, you can't predict the weather, you can't change the weather. So unfortunately, I think they've had some problems with it the last couple days, but uh, hopefully it gets better. Uh, we just met Zach right here, him and his wife. They're fans of the channel, so big shout out to them. And uh, let's go 430 feet above the island. I don't want to jinx it, but it looks like she's flying. That is going to be so cool. Tallest vantage point in the Bahamas. That 9 a.m. first flight of the day. We're it's ready. so cool because every event or every like different thing here gives you a wristband. So you know how like people that go to festivals collect wristbands? Yeah, you get like a whole collection of the These island. are our, our wristbands here. Yeah. 
Are you ready, girl? Yeah, we're Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we made it off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna feel a little, little bump, guys. We're gonna make a stop up here at three meters, then we're gonna go up normal oh, okay. speed. You so You're gonna feel another little bump as we go up. Alright, you're teasing us on up. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> no way, this is insane. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look behind you, that's fine. You can pray. I'm praying, I'm praying. <laughs> <laughs> at the moment, we're going closer to God, so maybe there's less signal. <laughs> Better signal. Hey, this is insane. This is so cool. You know what's scary? Is that rope is the only thing that's holding us. No, you know what's scary? The other day I saw gold like Take this. Take a guess at how much the rope holds. How much? 45 tons. Whoo! Wow, okay, about, that's... That's about four times that you can actually load in this at max. Which wow, is, that's a strong rope. <laughs> so, no, for 30 years of operation, they've, they've never had any instance of that. Yeah. Whoa, look at our shadow down there. So that's like crew area and staff area. You can actually stay on the island. And then obviously over here is kind of all the actual guest side. Babe, this is insane. Now guys, we're at 65 meters. We keep on going. So what do you think, babe? This was really cool. Very peaceful, actually. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful up here. We got so many good photos of just like the entire park and everything. We'll throw some of those up. Yeah. I just, I, I loved it. My ears are popping. Are they really? Yeah, I just had to pop my ears. That is insane. We're heading back down now. This thing is so smooth. There's like a couple of yeah. little bumps on the way up when it switches gears, but. It's so quiet when you get up here, though. It is. Overall, highly recommend. Thank you. I got a little lightheaded, but that's cool. Thank you. <laughs> Now you're gonna go swimming, right? Right! <laughs> With all the sharks, because right. so brave. Right! Hurry, hurry, babe. We're trying to make it to the beach because the balloon's going up again. And I want to go drone it. That thing was so insane. I'm seriously blown away. I've never been in a hot air balloon. I always envisioned it'd be like a pretty view, but it'd be kind of boring, like just kind of slow, but that was just insane. By the way, that's not a hot air balloon. It's a helium balloon, but you guys get the reference. Well, we ran all the way over here hoping to be able to get the drone up by the time the balloon was coming down and unfortunately we didn't make it. They're already on their way down so I think we have to wait until they go back up again. Shell has the right idea though. Are you kidding me right now? Are you working hard or hardly working? I don't know how to fly a drone though. <laughs> You're killing it girl. I showed you some of it, but that was yeah. without a doubt the best drone footage I've ever gotten. It's so beautiful with all the colors and then the clear water. You oh can't. my goodness. So I'm excited to do it again later on in the day, just before we leave, because the sun's going to be on the other side. You'll have those nice like golden sunset colors. But um, that was insane. Now I do want to say, and I want to make this clear because I do get questions about it. No, you're not supposed to bring drones on the ships and you're definitely not supposed to drone on this island. They're actually really concerned about drones potentially running into that helium balloon and popping it. I have express permission from Royal Caribbean to do this. So whatever you guys want to do, I'm not going to say yes or no, but just know that it's not allowed and you can get in trouble if you guys end up coming. So just keep that in mind. But without further ado, what's next, girl? Uh, we have to choose. We can do whatever we want. Yeah, we, we have, have jet skis at 1.30. Jet skis are at 1.30, but it's like 9.45, so what, where are we going? Uh, I don't even know. I don't know. We're going to try to go get some couples pics. We're going to show you guys the behind the scenes, and we'll see what happens. What you think, girl? I feel like that turned out pretty well. I think so. We'll have to see when we're not in the sunlight. <laughs> Half of working on the beach just praying to God that they look good when you right. get back in a room. Because <laughs> you can't see it, it's so bright outside. So she got me in the hammock. We actually already got her before this section. We were on uh, this hammock right here, but obviously that's taken now after we started droning. So anyway, next spot. Girl, I'm gonna kill you. 
for this prop bag. Yeah, okay. Well, when you have great photos that don't look all the same, you Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're gonna, it's still pretty early. It's like 9 a.m. Uh, people are still waking up getting breakfast on the ship, so we're gonna try to get beach shots and pool shots while it's super empty. Yep. So let's see what happens here. Let's see what the genius has in mind. Doing it. Okay. So uh, a lot of this vlog stuff is kind of this. Just waiting for other people to move. I get real irritated. <laughs> <laughs> I have a oh, about it. I, I think she's settling. I think we gotta find a different spot. So cute. Look at that. Look at us. We're just so cute. Let's anyway, we're gonna get one of Chelsea sitting in the sand facing out to the ocean with her butt because that always does well on Instagram. Um, but not every beach is beautiful, so we're gonna have to move all this stuff to pretend that there's not gross seagrass all along the shore. Sometimes this is my favorite part about our trips, just watching her try to do it. Oh, look at this. You got the balloon in the background. Come on, girl, work. This is a very beautiful spot for you to work. There's still stuff. You got to get stuff. Oh, I thought you meant work the camera, not No, work. like work, like move the, move the stuff. Well, I can't move the stuff out of the water. Go faster. Hurry up. Come on. Everybody's going to have breakfast and be on the island by the time you're done at this rate. So we got some pretty good ones there from a couple of different angles. Yep. That was good. She also got some of me walking with the camera in the bag, but now we're gonna set the camera in the bag up and we're gonna make like a little, I'm kind of blurry in the background type shot, but we need a sand mountain to rest the bag against. Oh God, hurry, 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 babe. Where's the bag? There's a nurse shark out there. Some people just pointed out there's a shark circling out there, so I'm gonna get the GoPro dome. I'm gonna try to go out and get it. Sorry guys, I'm gonna go feed you to him. In you go. <laughs> This is insane. There were two of them out there. That was awesome. Oh my goodness. They're just, they're little nurse sharks. They're never going to hurt you or anything. But uh, yeah, there were two. We followed them around a little bit, got a couple of shots. The shots are cool. Uh, I think you want one more beach picture and then we're going to the pool. Successful uh, beach trip. Yeah. We'll going to go to the pool now. We're definitely going to be back on the beach soon. I just want to hang out there. We've got kind of some slow and sensual yeah. songs going yeah. on here. Some slow jams. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, he's feeling himself. So all of this is awesome and brand new yeah this is so cool they had a half court basketball court and one volleyball court on the last coco k and now they've got spike ball they've got volleyball they've got bags uh, ping pong over there really yeah, oh like ping pong on the beach wow that's i didn't even notice that that's pretty cool yeah i mean no matter what you want to do here you got options yeah there's something to do So we got some like scenic shots of uh, of the pool and took some time lapses and stuff that you guys may have seen. Now I think uh, we're gonna try to get something by the pool bar. Honestly, we didn't manage our time good enough. We should have spent less time at the beach and quickly came to the pool so we could get shots without everybody there. I think we're gonna wait to the end of the day now though because people usually clear out early. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get some quick shots at the bar. Not the pool bar, but this side of the bar because the sun's good for it. And then I think we're gonna have a drink. I think we've earned it, girl. We've we had a good morning a good so far. Drink. Heck yeah. Hold on a second. Does anybody remember Avon? He was in a previous vlog back in 2016 when we were sailing on Freedom of the Seas. We met him for the first time then, and he was instantly our favorite bartender we had ever met on a ship. Like, he is so cool. He's from Jamaica, super down to earth, really interesting guy. We just absolutely fell in love with him. I, I legitimately consider him a friend. Like, we're friends on Facebook and stuff like that. Well, it turns out he was actually on this ship as well. So we had met him the day before this video. I wasn't recording when it happened, but we told him we were gonna visit him at the pool bar on perfect day at Coco K. So let's go do it. You ready to go see our Jamaican brethren? I'm ready. Oh my gosh. He was actually, he was chirping me yesterday when we ran into him. He was like, bro, I only got like 10 seconds in the freedom vlog. What was up with that? I want more screen time. So we're gonna have to give it to him. This bar is lit. What up, bro? What's going How you on? Been? How you living, <laughs> homie? It's all good, you know. Good to see you again. Still on the grind, still on the grind, man. Yeah. Perfect oh, day, you know. Always. It's be a perfect day with all my perfect vloggers. Especially with you. If you guys come here, you gotta ask for him. Ask for Avon, 
and give him a nice tip. I love this dude. My goodness. He, uh, he's got a strong pour. All right, so we're, we're gonna go walk this off a little bit. I think uh, we've got about an hour before we wanna be at the jet skis. I think we're gonna go over to the water park for 45 minutes, and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna get a funnel cake, which is supposed to be really, really good. So we're gonna check that out, and then it's time for the jet skis. But uh, for now, water park, yes. wave pool. Royal wants us to get some shots in the wave pool. Honestly, I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna do it or what we're gonna do, but we're gonna go for it. What up, girl? How you feeling? Oh, we're gonna stay in here the rest of the day. <laughs> Forget the talent. Goodbye. So uh, unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna be able to take a picture right now because there's just too many people. I mean, being completely honest, it's really not that bad. Like there aren't that many people in here, but from a photo perspective, it doesn't look nearly as nice. Like they're not bothering us, but if you saw a photo right now with a bunch of people in the pool, it wouldn't be like this, like idyllic, you know, oh my gosh, gotta be there, it's paradise type thing. So, oh look, somebody's going by in the zip line right now. Anyway, I think we're gonna hang out here for a little bit. Funnel cake, jet ski, that's the plan. Yep. Let's do it. Of relaxing and now we're gonna go shoot the funnel cakes and then we have jet skis oh man wave pool to funnel cakes to jet skis today really sucks Hi. can I get a Caesar salad with chicken and a funnel cake and please dang girl I know Ooh, that looks hot. good feel it is it Oh yeah. my goodness. We haven't had anything since that like bacon and two hash browns in the windjammer, so I think we're kind of hungry. I yeah. think it's, it, we're gonna get some wings after the jet skis. Oh, the wings, yes. Keep eating, keep eating. Mm. Take another bite. Mouthful. Take, no, just take a bite, it's fine. Take it, grab it, yep. Okay, another bite. I could hear you not taking pictures, <laughs> not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it good? Yeah. It is good? Let me have a bite. Oh, is this sexy? Is it sexy right now? Hold on. Give me a little thumb so I can like... Ew, ew, no! It's pretty good. It is good. Honestly, like it's a great funnel cake. I feel like we need some toppings. I would love to be able to put some like chocolate drizzle. Strawberries. Strawberries, fruits, like gummy worms, like anything like that just to kind of spice it up a little bit or like ice cream. Yeah. Something like that might be nice, but um, overall very solid. Also, life is about balance. We got a funnel cake. And a chicken salad. I wanted something cold. <laughs> Unreal. All right. We have to scarf this down and get to the skis. The bad news is that the jet skis did not work out. Essentially, the problem was that they don't allow anyone to carry GoPros unless it's a mount that's attached to their body, and that's just not the shots that we were looking to get. We had special permission from the corporate offices of Royal Caribbean, but the manager on island didn't get that memo. They tried to set up a private time later in the day, but unfortunately, we had too many other things to shoot. So after that hot mess that was this little obstacle course thing, we went over it and we did a couple of tries on this little rope swing they have hanging off the side of the pool. I really want that for our house, Chess. That was really fun. That I thing is, that, that thing is awesome. We don't have any footage from it, but we do have a couple of bursts that we took on the phone. Check these out. All right, guys, so the next shot that our goal is, is to get a shot almost from the ground, looking up as Trevor walks towards Daredevil's Tower here. That thing is huge. I feel like that turned out pretty well. I think it's good. The only thing is, is um, these shorts are kind of showing all my goods. They're a little I tight, like but uh, <laughs> I guess we'll roll with it. Anyway, it's uh, time to go up the slides. 
And I'm gonna see if I can try my hardest to convince Chels to actually go on one. I'll go on a mild green one, I said. There's this one right here that looks to be about your speed. Yes, that I I, I remember, you know, like Santi and a couple of the other little kids from our last sailing, they were doing this one, so. I could probably do that. That might, that might be good for you. There's still a long way to go, girl. Jeez. How are you feeling? My heart is pumping. I did this three times yesterday, so your boy is used to it. You realize if you don't go down the slide, you're gonna have to go down the rest of the stairs, I'll right? Down, I'll go down the stairs. <laughs> So I ended up going down a slide. It was fun. It was a little baby yellow one, but it was good. Chels, where are we going? We have an hour and a half left. Um, we want to go snorkel. We want to hit the cabanas. We want to go out to the sandbar. We want to go to the pool. We want to go to the bar. We need to go to the chairs at the cabanas by the pool. Yes. In an hour and a half. I think we should start with the pool because I think the bar is going to close, but I also think that snorkeling might close. I, know, I don't know. I don't know. So I think we're going to prioritize the, uh, the sandbar out here. Oh, this is just such a cool thing. It's too cool to miss. It's almost exactly low tide. And I mean, there's about an hour till you're supposed to get on the ship, maybe an hour and a half. So most of the people are coming in. There's still some people out there. I don't know. We may be able to Photoshop them out or something. We'll see. But uh, anyway, I would time lapse us, but we're not going to be back for like a half hour. So I'm just going to put the camera away and we'll see you guys in a minute. Hopefully the shots turn out. Oh my goodness. I wish we would have had a camera out there. I don't know, Chelsea might have recorded something on her phone. When your drone battery is low, but you have it flying about a mile out in the ocean. <laughs> the things we do. The drone, the battery dropped like 20% all at once. And all of a sudden there was like 6% left. So I had to sprint in through like way steep water all the way up to land it and, and be able to grab it. But I think we got it. I think we're good. I'm going to go out and see what Chelsea's up to. This is just so beautiful, but that was stressful. Girl, I don't know how accurate the battery thing is, but when I landed it, it said I had less than 20 seconds left of flying. Oh my goodness. How are you doing? Um, I was fine with you running out there and then I looked around and I was like, I'm really far out here and I'm really alone. <laughs> if I get bit by something, I'm on my own. <laughs> oh no. So, check off the water park and the adventure pool and everything. Check off the sandbar. We have way missed our, our point of checking back in with the jet skis. Yeah, that jet skis just... isn't, that it was a, a decision we had to make. We kind of had to decide, hey, we would rather get more of multiple things than go on a jet ski tour and only get a couple of jet ski photos. So unfortunately, maybe jet skis next time. I don't know. Um, pool. pool, pool, pool bar, drinks, cabanas, all the above. Let's go do it. Decided to take a stop at the empty floating bar here. We've got a sink, soap, paper towels, a tray, and an ice container. So what can I get you to drink? A water and a Bloody Mary. Okay, uh, well unfortunately, miss, all we've got is ice. Here we go, finally back at the pool, and there's nobody here now, which is gonna be perfect. This looks pretty awesome. How's it feel, girl? Really good. Does it? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna hop down in here. So these are pretty cool. We didn't know they had these until today. We didn't see them last, yeah, I didn't time. See those last time. Little tables and chairs you can just sit at. That's it's pretty like a dope. Fun hangout spot. It is. Now, unfortunately, I do think the pool bar is closed, and we lost our film crew tag uh, in the sandbar debacle. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to get a pretty fruity drink. Maybe they'll have like an extra pineapple sitting out, and we can throw a straw in it or something. But yeah. we'll see. All right, girl, now guess what? We gotta run. We've got like 10 minutes to go get like one or two cabana shots and then get on board. We might get left, just so you know, we might get left. I don't like this But anything for the shot. Just kidding. I uh, 
I don't think we're gonna make the cabanas, girl. I think no. we missed that in the jet skis today. Yeah. But that's Sorry, right. guys. It's 4:15. All aboard is 4:30, and they will back. they will leave you like 100%. They will leave you. There's no question about it. They got to get to where they're going next. They've got a few thousand other people that mean way more than you do. So uh, we got to make sure we're back and we're on time. We are currently en route to Chops, which like we told you guys before, was our first ever specialty dining experience. So on cruise ships, if you guys haven't been, you have a bunch of free options, and then the specialty options are like a steakhouse, an Italian place, like specialty kind of menus. And those cost a little bit extra, but they're always a step above what the normal food is. So we're gonna do that tonight. For what it's worth, the free stuff does change. Like tonight is Caribbean night, I think, which that's the reason why we're going to this, because Caribbean is usually a lot of fish, which she can't eat. We kind of like take a look at the menu every night, decide, and then if we have to right. go for plan B, we go for like plan B. Like the night they have garlic soup in the main dining room, we go into the main dining room. And that's all we eat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they finally left. This was supposed to be our one romantic date night evening, and it was not. In the footage that we got, which we'll overlay that, you can't really tell what's being said, but basically, this dude has been a problem all night. Like, we saw him in Playmakers earlier. We see him in Playmakers, and he's throwing a fit because he was like, hey, can I get a martini? Where's my martini? Like, back to back, throwing a fit, stormed out of Playmakers. I guess that was part one of his meltdown. Part two was the fact that he ordered a ribeye which is a very like fatty marbled steak. Like it's got fat in it. It's supposed to add to the flavor, that sort of thing. He was upset about how much fat was in his steak. He didn't want any fat in his steak, but he ordered a steak that's known to be fat. fat. He blew up. I didn't catch it in the videos, but he was dropping F-bombs, C-bombs, and he was cursing not at like the waiter or the chef, but at his girl. Even though he ordered it, even though the waiter brought it, apparently it was her fault. And she just kept saying, what's really mean? What's really mean? <laughs> it was rough. He walked out, Chelsea reached out to her and told her some embarrassing cruise fights that we've had because of course, when you spend a lot of time together when you're on a cruise and stuff like that, you're gonna have fights. But that was one of the most insane things I've ever experienced, ever. So anyway, we're gonna enjoy our dinner now. We have got filet. Why is yours different? Yours is like <laughs> butterfly? I have no idea. Yours is like cut in half and split. Yours is like a butterfly filet. Mine's just a filet. Mac and cheese, gruyere, tater tots, asparagus, and mushrooms. We'll see you guys later.